Okay. We are going to try and do one more pregnancy vlog in the car. And this should be the last one that you have to see of the back of my steering wheel. Um, yeah, Brian starts back at school. Oh, let's see. Tuesday. Monday's Labor Day. So Tuesday he goes back to school. And I'll be able to finally do some vlogs somewhere other than my car. So this will be for weeks 15 and 16, even though I'm 17 weeks tomorrow. I'm trying to get out of the Walmart parking lot, so please bear with me. Oh, let's see. Well, we might as well start with what just happened in Walmart and the whole reason I'm leaving. Holy cow. I was walking around and I was trying to get some grocery shopping done and trying to pick up a few last minute uh, school supplies for Brian. They never really gave us a list of what they needed or anything, and I guess they'll find out, you know, when he actually goes to school on Tuesday, what he needs from each specific teacher. But I, that's one of those people I prefer to have a list, I prefer to have a plan, and it kind of drives me nuts that I have nothing to go off from. So it's like, oh, let's just get generic notebooks and pencils and crap. So I'm trying to find that stuff. Well, of course, Walmart has, like, no pencils. If you want pretty colored mechanical pencils, fine. If you want, like, neon colored pencils, fine. If you want <laughs> flipping unicorns, fine. But, like, just your basic, regular number two yellow pencils, apparently those are gone. I don't know where the hell those are. So I ran all over the store trying to find these darn pencils, couldn't find the pencils, couldn't find any just regular folders. Managed to find one box of, you know, your basic 17 cent one subject notebook that we all got when we were that age, you know, just because you needed a notebook and it was dirt ass cheap. So I got pens, of course he wanted blue ink. And all they had was black, so I went all over the store looking for the blue ink. And Wyatt has gotten really awful at shopping trips. He used to be really good. He'd just sit in the seat and he'd be fine, no big deal. He'd drink his little juice or water and he'd eat his little snack and everything would be good. He's turned into a royal pain in the butt. He wants to walk everywhere, but it's just not really... Like, he, he's too busy looking at things and grabbing things he shouldn't instead of focusing on following me and I want to get from point A to point B and I want to do it relatively quickly and he's tiddly winking along behind me which you'll probably hear him in the background because he is in the back seat with me. <laughs> um, see, there's what. So yeah, I was getting frustrated with him and I was trying to use that little machine for um <laughs> Jeez, kid. The machine that you use to pick out the rear windshield wiper for my Explorer. So I was trying to do that, and I had my arm over and kind of hooked into the cart. Well, he grabs the cart and yanks it, and I told him to stop, and so he starts pushing it. Well, then he's pushing it, and it's like twisting my arm, but I can't. As my left arm's hooked in the cart, he's down below me. My right arm, I'm having trouble reaching around and grabbing him. I'm telling him to knock it off. He's pushing harder, so I finally grab his arm and yank, and I'm sure it looked like, you know, horrible, evil, abusive mommies beating up on her kid, but really it was a matter of, oh my God, why you are hurting me, you're gonna break my arm, please stop. So it's just, it was a lot of stuff like that, and then when I was trying to find the the bulb for my, my blinkers out, to my turn signals out too, so I was trying to find the bulb for that, and he is looking at the keychains, which is fine, whatever. But he comes over and suddenly he's got this SpongeBob keychain. But there's like no wrapper or anything on it. And I look behind him. Well, he ripped it out of the package and dropped the package behind him. Oh my god, my child is stealing SpongeBob. Awesome. So I had to take that away from him and give it to somebody so they could repackage it. It was just nuts. And I was getting frustrated, and I could feel, like I can usually 
deal with him. It's kind of frustrating to try and deal with him and shop and whatever, but you know, I'm used to it. Two years of this kid, I'm used to it. <coughs> but it just, it was really getting to me and I was getting frustrated. I didn't know why I was getting so upset with him so quickly. Because so I was like, we just ate. We're both should be full, you know. We ate before we left. Everything should be good. And I just felt like I was on the verge of screaming bloody murder at this poor child. So that was my first indication that something was wrong. Because I was just, wow. And, uh, so, I don't know, we get over to the food section and I start going through the groceries and getting stuff over there. <laughs> and I feel myself getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And I wore my hair down and I have a lot of hair. It's getting quite long and it's heavy and it's thick and it gets hot. So I kept trying to push my hair back, you know, off out of my face and off my neck. And no matter what I did, I just kept getting more and more hot. And then I didn't necessarily feel like I was going to pass out, you know, but it was kind of not faint, but not really steady on my feet. And I, you know, we get a little bit dizzy and stuff, and I'm like, oh god, I have no idea what's going on. I'm gonna pass out right here in the aisle. <coughs> and we get over to the produce area, and I start feeling really winded, like as if we had been going at high speed through the store. And of course, by that point, I'd actually slowed down quite a bit, but I was feeling really winded. And so I caught myself, you know, <sighs> deep breaths and a lot of. <sighs> And I'm like, oh my god, somebody's going to think that I'm going into freaking labor. <laughs> You're in the middle of the produce section of Walmart. So I'm like, that's it. I got to go. And then I stopped for a second and grabbed a couple of avocados. And then Wyatt's trying to eat the avocado skin. And I was like, okay, that's it. No, I'm done. I can't deal anymore. I have got to go now. So we, we just booked it for the nearest checkout line and I of course he's touching everything he's trying to push buttons on the credit card machine and he's trying to spin the bag thing and it's like dear god child I don't feel good I'm gonna pass out can you please just keep your hands to yourself for two seconds oh it was just awful and I felt horrible and I got to the car and I get him all loaded up and I get the stuff in the back of the explorer and I hand him, because he just kept insisting he wanted cookies, he wanted cookies, he wanted cookies. So I bought these little package thingies that have like graham crackers and chips and white cookies and, I don't know, like cheese it crackers or something like that in them. Just little bitty ones that fit well in his diaper bag, because I'm having a heck of a time finding snacks anymore that he actually likes and will willingly and happily eat. You know, like when we're in the middle of a shopping trip at Walmart to keep him calm and keep him in the darn cart. So I grabbed one of the little packages of cookies and handed him to him. And now he's you know, back there happily with his milk and his cookies. We got out to the car and I got in and oh, holy crap. I just, I looked in the mirror and my face was red. I mean, literally there was like, you could see the line around my, you know, like where your neck meets your face. You could see a line with a red my neck was white and my face was red and all the way up to my hairline. I mean, my whole face was bright, bright red, like almost purple. It was so red. And I sat down and I started chugging some water and I cranked the AC up and blew it right at my face. I just kind of, you know, sat here and tried to breathe and relax and, you know, I feel a lot better now. I honestly have no idea what causes that. I would maybe have thought it was something with blood sugar had we not just eaten, you know. Like maybe if we had not eaten breakfast or I hadn't eaten breakfast, I could have seen it being like a drop in my blood sugar and that's why I felt crappy. But we, like I said, we just ate. So I, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know why it happened, but it was miserable. That's the only time it's happened, so... I don't know. I'll bring it up. My next OB appointment is on Wednesday. So I'll just mention it then and see what the... Well, I'm seeing a midwife. Pretty calm. 
common, but you know, I'll ask anyway. But other than that, I've been having a lot of headaches. I don't have my bracelet on today. The bracelet, the um, Baltic Amber has been helping. It's been kind of taking the edge off the pain. Like, it's not 100%, but I am feeling less pain and less stiffness in my left knee, which is where I have the arthritis. So that's getting easier to deal with. Um, but I've been having a lot of headaches. And it's always right around the time I have to leave for work, my head starts hurting. By the time I get home from work, my head is throbbing. I don't, like, I have no idea what it is. I've messed around with, like, maybe I'm not getting enough caffeine. Maybe I'm getting too much caffeine. Maybe I'm drinking my caffeine at the wrong time of the day. So I tried having the caffeine first thing in the morning. I tried having it at lunchtime. I tried having it on my way to work. I tried waiting until I actually had a headache and then drinking the caffeine. And then I tried not having the caffeine at all. And dear God almighty, I thought my head was going to explode. And then I worried, was it something with the amber that I'm reacting badly to? But if I don't have the amber bracelet on, which I better put it on when I get home. If I don't have it on, the headaches are worse. So it's helping. It's taking the edge off these headaches. And when they're not too bad between the amber and the Tylenol, I'm okay. You know, I, it's pretty, uh, pretty mild, or if I'm lucky, it goes away altogether. But the headaches have definitely been a pain in the butt. I've also been having problems with fatigue at that time of the day. Like, just all of a sudden, it's 2 o'clock, and I need to go to work, and oh my god, all I want to do is go to bed. I just, I want to sleep, and I want to sleep now. Hi, Bye, baby. But of course I can't because I have to go work. So, I don't know. Again, I'll ask the doctor on Wednesday, or the midwife on Wednesday. See if she has any, any idea as to what might be causing the headaches. I really don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I'll ask her, see what she thinks. Um, let's see what else. I've been having... A lot of round ligament pain in the last week. Both sides, lower abdomen, that sharp pain you get. Sometimes it's sharp, sometimes it's kind of a pulling feeling, but I've had a lot of, oh, I was having a really bad. Wyatt has had the flu this last week, or whatever it is that he has. Maybe I'll do another video on the whole Wyatt thing, because that is a whole story within itself. But he was really sick and whiny, and I took him to the doctor, and he insisted that I carry him from all the way from the car, through the parking ramp, upstairs to the doctor's office, back to the... I mean, it was just... It's a lot to carry a 31-pound two-year-old and be pregnant. It's, it's exhausting. So by the time we got home that day, I was hurting. And every time I got up off the couch to get him something else... I would get the round ligament pain, and then I, you know, even when I was sitting there, I was getting it, and I'm just, ow, 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 I'm just laying on the couch, going, ow, oh, God, it hurts, and you'll be sitting there fine, and then, ow, oh, okay, pain, but it's been better, I'm not having any today at all, so that's good, but yeah, I think the baby had quite the gross burn, so, we're pain for a couple of days, that mixed with water, carrying light, I'm sure made for a really rough day when it came to that. Baby has been very, very active. And I can feel that my uterus is up higher. Like, I seriously, this last week, this child has had a massive growth spurt. And I can feel that the uterus is up higher. And I think the baby must have flipped over. Because at least when I was there at 12 weeks for my uh, NT scan the baby was sitting up in the breech position, which what's new, I, that's what my kids do all the time. But I feel like maybe sometime yesterday the baby flipped over because I'm feeling a lot of movement and it's like right at my belly button or right below my belly button. And it feels like a lot of little 
chicks there, so I kind of think maybe the baby flipped over and I'm just getting the crap kicked out of my belly button now. But, you know, at this, at this size, they flip-flop all over the place, so it doesn't really mean anything. Although, I do have to bring it up to my doctor. What if I end up with a baby that decides to be head down this time? Is there any chance of a V-back, or should I just not even... Just not, I mean, part of me thinks, why even bother thinking about it? Because the baby will probably be breached. And even if the baby isn't breached, there's a good chance they're going to tell you, let's just go with the C-section and be safe. Papa. And it may just be the safer route. I don't know. It's 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 hard. I'm not, not getting my hopes up at all for a VBAC after two cesareans. I know there are some hospitals that won't even do it after one cesarean. And I don't know what the rule is at my hospital, so... You know, it's kind of one of those, <clears throat> we've got one of the best hospitals in the country that we're going to for prenatal care and, you know, a top-notch NICU and so I should feel safe trying something like that there, but I just can't imagine something going wrong and then being like, God, I'm a total ass. I should have just had a C-section and baby and I would be fine. You know, so I, I don't know. I have no idea. Hard decisions to make before they even come out. It's hard to decide how they come out sometimes. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. Not too many other symptoms, really. Um, nausea's pretty much gone. Like I said, the fatigue is usually only in the afternoons. Oh, other than that, I'm feeling pretty decent. I still feel like I'm in that kind of weird, is she fat or is she pregnant? And I've been wearing maternity shirt, shirts in hopes of making it more obvious that I am in fact pregnant. And that's why I have a big stomach. <laughs> Wait, then I worry about, okay, so somebody asks you how far along you are and you're like 16 weeks and they're like, holy crap, you look like you're, you know, seven months pregnant. I don't know. Well, it appears that I am home with groceries and a small child. And at least now I don't feel like my face is on fire and I'm going to fall over. So, I'm going to let you go. I've got my glucose test on Tuesday and midwife appointment on Wednesday. So, I don't know. Anything exciting happens with those, I'll let you know. Pretty sure I'm gonna fail the one hour glucose just like I do every other time. So I kind of don't even know why we're doing the one hour and not just going straight for the three hour right now. <sighs> oh well, I'll probably end up sitting every three hours at some point anyway. But thanks for watching. Hopefully, this is my last car vlog. Um, and we'll be back in the big blue bathroom before you know it. If you're new, please subscribe. If you like the video, thumbs up it, favorite it, share it. Yeah, I think that's all I got. You want to say bye, Wyatt? Say bye. Basically have him just staring at me with his mouth gaping open like, what the heck are you talking about, Mom? All right, have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye.